I'd like to paint a picture of true love for you, if everyone could sort of indulge me for a moment. I want a 50s kind of look. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you, you know, just put yourself in sort of the scene, okay? Imagine it's 9.30 at night. You're halfway through an episode of Parks and Rec. Your partner leans over and says, should we finish this tomorrow? You nod sleepily. You were thinking the same. You leave your cell phones in the kitchen, their presence in the bedroom impacts your sleep. You then spend 15 minutes next, next to each other at his and her sinks. You meditate for three minutes and put on full length pajamas. You write down your goals for the next day, <laughs> making sure they tie into your monthly, yearly, and five-year aspirations. Your partner applies three spritzes of sage peppermint halo above the bed, right as you're about to climb in. Big breath in. You're almost asleep already. You manage to crawl in and you both put on your sleeping masks. It's now pitch black, but you know exactly where your silicone reusable earplugs are. Finally, your mouth guards. Through the earplugs and mouth guards, you hear your partner. Calvin, standing here today with you feels surreal. We've waited so long for this moment, almost 11 years and three years of engagement to be exact. So it's hard to believe that the day I get to marry you has finally arrived. I'm not sure what you saw in me that day as I blasted Tayo Cruz dynamite <laughs> as students walked into the classroom of Com 101, looking as cool as I can probably be, wearing a Lacoste polo with a sweet faux hawk, <laughs> lecturing a class that I honestly had no business in teaching, but I couldn't be happier when you decided to sit in front row and be the keener you are in true alley fashion. Despite being young university students when we met, you impressed me right away. While I was the first year keener in the front row of your class, who barely knew how to navigate the UBC campus, you had confidence, charisma, intelligence, and from my perspective, had your life all figured out. <laughs> While I only dreamed about what we could be that first year we met, it was only a matter of time before those dreams became a reality and the universe brought our paths together again. From there, our relationship became one of those young, infatuated loves filled with spontaneous and romantic dates. But like any relationship, it sure had its challenges that only helped us grow stronger. And with every long distance we faced, something kept telling me that this was the person I wanted to keep fighting for. Our journey has not always been easy, but I wouldn't trade any of our challenging moments for the world because they taught us that we can conquer anything together as long as we stay open to growth, committed to each other, and willing to put in the work that our relationship deserves to thrive. At one point, I think I admitted to you that our relationship was almost too easy. So I became complacent in showing you the love you needed and deserved. You became a best friend that I maybe took for granted. But again, we kept fighting for each other. We kept fighting for each other as we asked the tough questions, discovered ourselves, learned more about what the other person needed in the relationship, and took time to understand each other's love languages. Which leads us here today, where I wholeheartedly know that I stand in front of the person I know I'm meant to be with where our love has graduated from young love to true love. One in which I care more about your happiness than my own. Thank you for showing me the power of unconditional love and for always making me feel like the most special loved queen in the world. You have certainly fulfilled your goal of making me the happiest I can be. Every little moment is better because you're by my side making me smile. It has been so incredible to grow up with you. And now I can't wait to grow old with you. <sighs> I like to think that you can always give without loving, but you can never love without giving. Because marriage by its nature is a state of giving, and it's one rather than taking. So the process of this marriage does not begin today, and it obviously hasn't, but it doesn't end today either. It is a work in progress, as I think every one of us here will attain to. Marriage is a work in progress. It's fun, it's great, and you step into it together. <laughs> Holy A, babe. <laughs> uh -oh.
Oh, you look so good. Oh, you look amazing. Are you? Holy. <laughs> what? Wow. It's finally here, eh? I know. I can't believe this moment. I know. I feel like this is like, mm -hmm. feels real. Yeah. I promise to be a supportive, thoughtful partner and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I will help you slow down to cherish life's little moments and will never stop showing you the beauty and joy that can be found in the sun. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding, be present with you and never stop asking you questions to get to know you better than I already do. I vow to keep your love tank full by always asking you questions and always giving you the quality time you deserve. I promise to keep our life one of adventure and travel, while at the same time promising to help you keep fighting for Mother Nature, so that the next generation and our family can enjoy our oceans, mountains, and forests the same way we have come to appreciate them. I vow to grow along with you, to be willing to face change and challenges head on as we both learn and grow in order to keep our relationship alive and exciting. And finally, I promise to love you in good times and in bad, with all that I have to give. I will love you when life is simple and love you even more when life gets complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to keep helping you fulfill your goals and your life purpose of inspiring others to live healthier and happier lives. And I promise that my life's purpose will always be to make you feel unconditionally loved. No matter what life holds for us, I'm so incredibly fortunate that I get to spend the rest of it with you. You have already made me the happiest guy in the world. And if our future is any indication on how unbelievable these past 11 years have been, I simply cannot wait. Allie, I will always love you. Calvin, Woo! you may kiss your bride. Woo! Woo!